Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangled Skeins Crafter here on YouTube. Um, today I have an unboxing for you. I had a collaboration, oh that's probably really loud, with FG Normal. They sent me a couple kits that I picked out and I really like and I'm really excited to open these. I've been waiting until I got my new webcam and this is my new webcam and it is not working like it's supposed to. So I'm going to get another new webcam. They already refunded me for this one so just keep it. Because it's supposed to be autofocus but it does not focus. But it still looks a little bit better close up than the one I was using. So enough with the rambling. <laughs> I will tell you about these kits. Um, let's see. It's going to be so loud. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Maybe I should open these first. I'll try to, I'll try to muffle that a little bit in the video whenever I edit it. Alright, the first one, pardon me for having my mouse in the shot here. Okay, the first one, it's just called Girl. I keep getting ones that are just called Girl. This one is an 18 count, 40 by 40 centimeter piece, stamped as usual. The majority of stuff I get from these companies is stamped, which is fine with me because I just recently fell in love with stamped, and that was all I really want to do. I will insert a picture. I will have already inserted the picture while I was doing all the rattling, I believe, but you can kind of see it here also. It's on that tear-proof paper that everybody loves so much. I know I love it. I keep hearing people say that the um, paper itself, the ink on the paper is also water-soluble, so be sure not to get it wet. I am taking that to heart. I'm not even going to have a drink near it whenever I'm working on it. Um, I can see, yeah, I can see the outline of the girl and her face really good and the owl. Alright, start with the colors. We have 40 colors. You can kind of see. I can't wait to get the new webcam though that actually focuses. We do have 310, which is all this blue, so a, there's a good bit, but not a lot. It's not going to be just like I'm just stitching black all the time. It's just details and from the very edge. Um, let's see. It looks like it's printed pretty clearly. I'm not seeing too many things that will give me issues. I think my biggest issue is going to be remembering which is the upper left little corner thing and which is the upper right little triangles. These are the same symbol but different colors. That shouldn't be a problem. These are the same. So there's orange ones that I might get mixed up and these greenish ones that I might get mixed up which look really blue in the camera but they look green to me and to my actual eyes. Let's see, we have little arrows that are different colors but the same symbol. I kind of wish they would have used just completely different symbols for everything, but it shouldn't be that difficult. I mean, if you can see, I don't think you can see it all, but it's printed really clearly. I mean, these are the same color. There's X's and I call them upside down L's. They're kind of mixed together well, but with my glasses I can see just fine. Oh, I'm going to really enjoy this one, which I'm actually starting this very soon. I will be uploading a video soon showing all the ones I'm working on this month. It'll be the first time I've uploaded a video like that. I joined a Facebook group that um, does something called an acrostic. So you do a, pro a project for each letter of the word they choose every month. And this is one I'm, I'm getting ready to start. So she's printed on the canvas. So I can stare at this pretty picture while I'm working on it. Let's 
same symbols and same colors as what's on the pattern, which is really nice. It throws me off sometimes when they're different. It's really vivid. Look how saturated it is with color. So the, I feel like the canvas is going to be a little more difficult to read than the chart because of how saturated it is with color. It's not like smeared, but it's, it's just, they kind of, they blend together. Man, I wish you could see. So I see X's and slashes. And I'm going to have to really look to make sure I'm not getting those confused. I have to be careful not to just stitch over these when I'm doing all this. Because that's all black. Or is there a light blue? No, that'll all be black. And the owl. That don't make sense. Let me look one more time. Put it here. What did I look at? Were those... So yeah, I'm going to have to be really careful with this. Because that owl, those are blue X's. And I thought it was a solid color. I almost felt like an idiot, but I don't because... I mean, I noticed it at least. Because I know the owl is actually like light colors. It's a barn owl. So it's a lot of like white and cream and tans. I just, I love the detail in this, and I'm glad there's 40 colors, because you would lose so much of the detail. I mean, you're already going to lose some of the detail, I think, just because, I mean, you would need a lot more colors to get the detail that's in this picture. But I'm just glad I'm seeing different colors in her hair. Different colors in her face. I do think it's going to have good detail gonna be a while before I know because this is 18 count so this is tiny I mean so a lot of the bigger project I work on is counted or 18 count and they take me a while I, I work on some 22 count also I just I'm getting spoiled with my stamped 11 count and 14 count pieces yeah let's look at the, the floss oh here's the little bag it's got a butterfly it's got the Poof ball. And typical one, two, three, four, five. I believe, yeah, five needles, needle threader, and the little adjustable thimble, which I honestly never used because I could not figure out how to keep it on my finger comfortably and stitch. Just more rattling. Like we got some hanks of floss here in addition to what's on the card. So apparently there is going to be quite a bit of, yeah, it's 310. Look at that, yeah, 310, so there's black. Look at that beautiful green. Oh, it's just not coming out as good on camera. It is such a vibrant, just green, green. Makes me think of crayons, but darker. It's at 890. And then this pretty brown, which is 938. Yeah, that won't focus. And oh, these pretty, pretty colors. Ignore me while I drool over the microphone. Several of these, at least, are going to be in the owl. Some creams and kind of golden tannish colors. Some browns. Look at these greens. I'm assuming that's the 310 because it's one strand. Oh, those are pretty colors. They're just not coming out vibrant on the screen. I wonder if I can change that in editing or something because they are so it's vibrant greens. Very pretty. So that was 1 through 18. And 
add in some more beautiful greens and like orange rust colors. Blue, really pretty blue. Burgundy? Maroon? I never know what to call that color, but I love that color. It's one of my favorite colors. I like purple. This is coming out so, what, gray on my camera or dark blue, but it's a really pretty like forest green, hunter green, maybe a hunter green, a deep green. Here's 37 through 40. I can't remember if I said that was 19 through 36 and this is 37 through 40. It's a pretty cream. Brown, pinkish, almost a salmon. Almost matches my nails. Here they all are together. Oh, this is going to be such a joy to work on. Because I love the colors. Oh, they just are not coming out well on the camera. Alright, let me put this back up. Some more rattling. I don't want to lose the threads. The threads. 18 CTAFF. So it matches the canvas and the chart so if I do manage to drop anything out I should be able to figure out what goes with what. Alright, kit number two. This one I'm also really excited for. I don't know why I say that every time because I'm excited about every one I get. This one is an 11 count a pillowcase, pillow cover, whatever you want to call it. Could still be up right now. This one is called Woman Reading. It's on that tear-proof paper, that real shiny paper. Isn't that pretty? I've seen there's um, a larger, you know, just a on canvas instead of a pillowcase, and this is actually like you're looking through a window at her, and it comes up and around. So this is like the panes in the window, but I just I love I love pillowcases that way I can I don't have to worry about wall space. I just put them on a, a pillow insert in them, and then I can just sit them wherever I want. I have to look at something on this other one. I just realized the first kit didn't come with any instructions. This one comes with the instructions for cross stitch printed on the paper, on the pattern. Chart. I always say pattern because I need first was a knitter. Now I'm a cross stitch. This one is 45 by 45. 195 stitches by 195 stitches. I just realized I didn't even say what the other one was. Maybe I should re-record this. No, I won't. The first one was, what is that? I guess two, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 240 by 240. Alright. Back to our regularly scheduled program. This one, as I said, is 195 by 195. 45 by 45 centimeters. Let's look at this. A little picture thumbnail. This one has 47 colors. I am excited by that because I feel like that means it's going to have good detail. Because if you notice in the picture, it's she's surrounded by like stacks of books, and um, there's a cat. There's a little Totoro standing on a book. There's just a lot of stuff going on. I think there's like a little 
globe. She's reading a book. Oh, there's a fairy sitting on a book. Yeah, there's just all kind of stuff going on in this picture, and I cannot wait to discover it as I stitch it. So, like I said, 47 colors. Again, it has some of the same symbols in different color. But so, I mean, it shouldn't be too confusing. There's nothing too similar. I mean, I guess the closer would be 46 and 47 looks like a dark green and a light green. I don't know if you can see that arrow to the left. Or, I call it like the less than sign. Less than sign. You got a black hyphen and a black arrow, actual arrow to the left. A black dot. A black slash. A black plus And a black up and down. So those could get confusing if they're side by side. Let's look at the actual chart now. Let's see. This is going to be fun, I think, because it's got confetti, but it also has like these little just pops, these little, little color blocks here and there. Here she is. I can see her. That's her hair hanging down, and she's looking at a book. There's the cat. Cat's mostly black, so apparently the yellow is going to be the dark color, 939, which if I remember correctly, is almost like a dark, dark navy blue, not a black. There is no 310, there's no actual black in this, which makes me happy because I'm using a lot of black in some of my other pieces. What's the blue? 823, I'm not sure what that is. Is it going to be like a brown? We will find out soon. Yeah, it's, it is printed very clearly. I mean, this is really clear. There's no smearing. You can see each, even in the solid like blocks, you can see how many stitches there are. There's little lines that separate it. It's easy to read. I'm starting this one soon also, so I will probably record at least part of it and then some of it I'll probably do off camera because I doubt you want to see me stitching on these constantly. I like to do the little um, the shorts on YouTube to show in my progress. I say on YouTube like I'm not on YouTube right now but you know what I mean I upload it to all my social media. I do little shorts. I upload them as reels so you can actually see my progress for some of the days. So I mean, there's like a little globe, or um, yeah, what is that called? I almost said cutlass, but that's not it. I can't remember what that one's called, but you know, the Totoro and the little one. There's like garland and stuff hanging out. Oh, it's just so pretty. Let's look at the actual canvas. I was looking because I've been using the chart a lot lately on some of them, so now I'm more focused on how well the chart looks. She's bigger than I was thinking she was going to be. I don't know why I was thinking she was a little bit smaller than this. Where is the opening? I am on the struggle bus all the time. I'm surprised that y'all put up with me. Oh yeah, she's printed good. I am happy. If you ever want an actual review, like as I've been stitching for a while or after I've been stitching with something to tell you how easy or difficult something is to stitch, let me know. Because I am perfectly willing to do that. I'm going to do that on a couple little kits. Because I want people to know what they're getting into. Yeah, it's printed clearly. You can see each individual little box for the stitches in the solid colors. You can tell what everything is. I am not seeing... Yeah, I mean you can see the difference between like the black dot and the black dash. 
yeah whatever company this is or manufacturer this is they, they print really well I'm not, I haven't been doing this long enough to know the difference between the manufacturers the only problem I have with the pillowcases so far is why don't they put the edge of the pillowcase around the outside of the stitching instead of over top part of the stitching is it just to save them on fabric a little bit do they just I just really curious about that because I would prefer to be able to stitch the whole piece and have the zipper on the outside of it I mean it's still gonna be beautiful it, it only takes up a few a few rows maybe five if even that maybe two or three depending on which side you look at yeah she's gonna be a beauty too all right so that's the canvas for the pillowcase another one of the kits this one has is that a koi fish got your poof ball your five needles one two three four five your needle threader and your adjustable thimble more rod length I'm going to look at this beautiful floss these ones came on floss drops which I know a lot of people don't like these but so far I'm actually preferring these it's just less to deal with whenever I need to get a thread so I usually pull one off at a time and I just stitch until that thread's done and then I grab me another one I don't have to I'll just have like maybe two colors out and it's just it's convenient for me I'm gonna get me some of the the binder rings because I thought I had some I couldn't find any and put these on binder rings just to make them a little easier to manage lots of colors oh there's purples I love purple oh there's several purples and they are vibrant oh I just wish they would show up on this camera I keep forgetting to look to see if I'm actually in in view I'm so entranced with these, these flosses oh there's some blues I think it's like an antique blue it looks different on the screen deep blue yeah there's the 939 which is like a deep like navy blue three there's several of those three seven one there's quite a bit of that it's a light green there's more blues tell me this isn't going to be pretty there's vibrant red there's like an orangey red do you ever just want to curl up in your floss I wouldn't but it's tempting sometimes it's actually really soft all right I will stop fawning over the floss more rattling To the side for now. Have my mouse out for a minute. Yeah, let's stare at this pretty thing while uh, while I talk about FG Normal. I just realized I didn't tell you the prices either. Right now, the site is showing twelve thirty-five for a girl, the one with the owl and the red hair girl, and then. I'm zoomed in and get out of there. And then for the pillowcase, the woman reading, it's showing $11.12. So one's barely over 12 and one is under 12. All right, FG Normal. Looks like they have diamond painting, diamond painting accessories, um, diamond painting crafts, so bags, keychains, coasters, stickers, home decor, notebook, bookmarks, storage boxes, greeting cards, makeup mirror, LED lamp, cloth, mask and masks, 
storage box, Christmas decor, wreaths. They have crystal pendant, fire, what's fire paint? Fire paint seal series. Epoxy molds, weaving, knitting tools, crochet, knitting wool, tattoo stickers, home decor, paint by numbers. They do customized diamond paintings and they do, looks like they do custom partial AB drills also. And then they do customized cross stitch, customized paint by numbers and blind boxes for diamond painting. Let's see. It looks like right now free shipping for orders over, I'm not sure, 29 pounds. It's not in. Okay, here's the USD. So free shipping on order, orders over $49.48. Looks like they have 23% off going on right now also. I guess for orders over the 29 pound box, I will have links in my description box, prices, all the details as usual. Um, so thank you FG Normal for sending me these wonderful kits. I am so excited. I can't wait to get started on them. Um, I will be starting both of them. What is today? Today's Sunday, so I will be starting them this week. I'm not sure when this will be going up. This will be going up soon, though. So I will probably actually have already started them and uploaded a video before this goes up. I just really wanted to get these unboxed because I was so excited. Um, I think that's it. I want to thank you for joining me. Um, I hope this wasn't too chaotic and I hope it wasn't too loud and I hope that you can kind of get an idea of what they look like even though the colors were not showing up well because it just looks so muted and more blue on my screen right now than what I'm seeing in person so I'm hoping maybe I can adjust that um, please feel free to follow me on any of my social media I post an update all the time on Facebook on Instagram I'm doing a lot of TikToks lately um, Pinterest, I have a bunch of Pinterest boards, so feel free to follow me on any of those. I typically follow back. Um, if you haven't yet, please like, maybe consider sharing this video with other people that might like my content, and please subscribe if you haven't yet. I looked and it shows that like 93% of people that actually stumble across my videos are not subscribed. Of course, a lot of them aren't actually watching much more than a few minutes of them, but I'm hoping that the right people will stumble on my videos and enjoy them and subscribe and keep me going because this really cheers me up doing these videos, especially the unboxings because I love getting stuff that I could, you know, like this would be on my wish list for a long time probably because I was like, I'd be like, no, I don't need it but since, you know, we collabed and they sent it to me, I get to do it right away and it just makes me so happy. <laughs> I'm not greedy, but I get really excited like a kid on Christmas every time I get a package. Um, thank you so much. Once again, I'm sorry I'm so rambly. And I hope my chair squeaking wasn't driving everybody in just insane because it was driving me insane this whole time. I don't know how to sit still. But thank you so much for joining me. I will stop my rambling now. I hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>